Welcome everybody. We had a stream restart yesterday and it went out very well. We won 1.3k on Zoom No Limit 100 and today is the second day. So hopefully we can continue and let's see what the day brings us. So let's jump directly into the action. There we go. Unfortunately, I had some microphone problems. That's why a few hands were played already. For example, we made a double up. Just before. Ace queen clear three bet here. You guys have a three minute delay, so it it's probably not fixed for you yet. Okay, we do not have good backdoors. Uh, the queen five suited. I would definitely continue a lot of, you know, um, other stuff. Exactly the queen five. Uh, High card is not good enough. Back doors, uh, so so. And let it go this time. Interesting 3 bet from his side. Very, very small. So he can 3 bet a bit more. And because we play a lowish limit where the rake is higher, I dislike to call behind. So I do a bit more forebedding. Not the turn card I like. If he has a backdoor flush draw anyhow, we do not block any of that. Four, five, six, seven. Ooh, that's a huge bet. Ooh, chimpanze. Nah. Interesting. What is that? A friend of the stream is saying good luck, good luck. I, I, I will not play the hand against you, mate. So take it this time. Um, six, seven... I think Queen Jack, or, yeah, this is a clear call, I believe. Oh. Against his sizing, I think uh, it's a clear call. So what is that? Oida? Iniscus? A lot of players in the pool want to play against me. Unbelievable. Who's your favorite poker player and why is it Timo Faktat? No, how's that called?
under the gun limper. I will him mark him green as long as we do not have any other reads. Because the limper most likely is a fishy player. So let's see if he has any any tricks by check raising or so. We play a bit deeper against this guy. Okay. GTO noob. Interesting here because he should not have too many queen x or king x hands. So if he bets the river, I would consider to call. Oh, ace king. Okay. Uh, Meniscus called ace five offsuit in the small blind before. So this time I do not bluff. I do not four bet. I I call this hand and try to play it anyhow against the big sizing. It feels like there's nothing we can do. We are out of position and the sizing is just too big, right? What what do you like to hit? If we hit a king and he bets turn and jams river, we have to fold still. So um, it's not a good sign. Here I made a squeeze. If this guy calls preflop, I think his r range is not, is not so strong. He's not a full stack player. So if we get this player to fold, then, you know, Let's see what he has, if we get any kind of information. Sound not, not sync with video. Ah! Oh, I see. No? I had to upload for YouTube running and because it's a 20 gigabyte file from yesterday the upload took longer than expected so hopefully my movie uh, my lips are synchronized right now Small bet flop, big bet turn, could be the 10, could be queen jack and so, I call for sure. That is a very good river card because uh, it blocks pocket nines and 10 nine suited. I think 10 nine suited was not really possible with the 10 on the turn. <coughs> Why stream elements posting so much stuff? Unbelievable. At least it's not showing up in in the stream, in the recording, but I can see it in the chat. There's so much advertising from steel stream elements. I'm not sure for what I use that. I think it's uh, maybe for a donation, notification or something like that. Bodo, what do we think about these apps like PPP, Poker? I am not a huge fan of those because it runs over agents and sometimes they, you know, randomly scam you. Or sometimes you are in clubs which are not safe. It's not regulated. I'm not, I'm not a real fan.
This is a good river card. Because I think Ace King is an easy gem for him preflop. So hopefully he's not slow playing. Um Gee, really? I hope I wanted to say hopefully he's not slow playing like aces. What the fuck? Yeah, nothing I can do, right? Would he turn eight or nines into a bluff? Anyhow, I don't think so. Punpo made some bank yesterday. I only followed till 11 p.m. Um, we made 1.3k. That was the result. How did you double up on table two, top right? There was a limper. I had Jax isolated him. And then it was a setup. That's a good turn card. I think a lot of 10-9 um, and so will check raise the flop. So for a bigger sizing because we have all the Jack-9, Jack-10, 10-9. Ten, ten I'm not sure if, you know. Ah, okay. So he has something like King 8 suited in red or so. I cannot believe this is a bluff ever. Nice spot to bluff forbet. We have a king as a blocker. We leave the ace x open. We play deep, we have position, everything goes in our way, but if he jams, bing, 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 then he has it. Um, here, if he second barrels, I will jam, he has either, he has either uh, a huge draw or something like ace king, and because it's so draw, if he has the ace king, I don't think he can fold it. Phew. Did I say he cannot fold ace king because it's so dry? He cannot fold the jack. What the heck? This looks weird if he jams the turn and has jacks or aces, but given the hand is played out, um, I want to go for value with the king. And if he has a better hand anyhow and I check the turn and he jams the river, then, you know, I, I will call it anyway. So if he has the better hand, we lose everything anyway. And so... Um, I can balance it with my bluffs. He can level himself sometimes with a weaker hand or so. Interesting race by him because I have the aces kings, ace king. Yeah! 20 cent like a boss that is how we win money left and right pa 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 pam immer schön dich mal wieder zu sehen hab früher durch 
eine Doku von dir mit Poker angefangen. Das ist ja witzig. Die Doku, da war ich ja nicht wirklich stolz drauf. Da wurde manches äh, zehnmal aufgenommen, neunmal so wie ich es haben will und einmal, ja, ich weiß nicht, ne? Und, ähm, und dann wird eben das gezeigt, wo ich nicht so haben wollte, ne? Zum Beispiel, glaube ich, äh, haben sie einmal den Maserati gezeigt und ich bin eigentlich kein... F Fan davon gewesen, das so, so darzustellen, sage ich mal. So hier, uh, we are dominated very often, but this, it's a small four bed. Let's go like this. Uh, same here. I mean, I'm not sure how many bluff four beds they really have, but um, yeah. We will find it out. Here, if he has uh, jacks, queens, kings, he can do a range bet, and we still have two outs against that. And if if he has a bluff four bet, then it's mostly the ace included. So I think the the tens are an easy fold right here. Optic Adams uh, four bet preflop. Oh, uh, now it goes check check, and he has aces. Sorry, dude. I got lucky. Yeah. Petzak, nice to see you stream again. Yes, we have one week, guys, one week, and then my kids are back. If the kids are back, the stream will be offline for a few weeks. At least that is expected, because if the kids are here, then uh, it's not that, not that easy. Matty, hey, been a while, I hope you, oh yeah. Everything is fine. Nice to see you. <clears throat> As you can hear from my voice, it's uh, a bit suboptimal. Our baby had pseudo croup, and it seems like I have something as well. Can we go for value here? I think we can. Funny, he had uh, Queen 10 just calling the river against the small, small bed. But hey. Okay, um, I think he limped. I raised. Flop was check, check turn. I bet he called river. Ah, uh, so much busted. I could go for a check and let him do the job. But if he has green box, he's a fishy player, then I want to play it this way. If he does not bet the river, we have the queen block. I think he most likely has the 10. How much can we go for value against that? Let's go for a smaller sizing. He calls in Max. Atimontana Timo who? I only like that Mumu Cat thing on top zooms. Yeah.
I heard Mumu Cat is the top winner on Zoom 500. Wonder why. Wonder why. Uh, oh, what else can we do for exactly 100 big blinds here? So if you if you play on the lower limits and you are lazy to learn Timo is one of the good examples. He came as a no limit 10 player to one of my boot camps and no, he did not learn poker from me, but he got inspired how the whole thing works, right? Every time he became lazy, I said, "Hey, fuck that, you are too lazy. It cannot work like that." And uh now he has one of the best mindsets out there. And he's a hard worker. That's why he deserves it to to move up, right? It's it's, it's not the lucky lucky punch over ten thousand hands. No, it's a it's a long ride. You have, you play one hundred, five hundred, seven hundred thousand hands, right? And over that time period, it's it's not just luck. Pokermatrix, hey, schöne Grüße aus dem schönen Baden. Ja, wo bist du denn in Baden? Vor kurzem waren wir ja auch Nähe Karlsruhe. Marshmallow, uh, me playing Ping Pong in Germany. What did I miss? Yeah. This is interesting. I go for a check call on the turn. And if we are lucky, he has ace queen, ace 10, queen 10, queen 9 or so and gives up on the river. What did he have? Oh, the check nine. Okay, it's still fine. I made a squeeze here because there was an open razor from the cutoff and he can up have up to 30% range. Then we have two callers. They shouldn't have, you know, a strong range. And... Um, yeah, and now we ended up uh, check, 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 check. And I guess, what can he have? Like pocket eights, we check, sevens, cool stuff. Because whenever we hit a 10 or a king, we have the huge lead and he only has two outs. And whenever we do not hit it, we might fire a small bet and he gets huge problems, right? Marshmallow can't remember Bodo having a ping pong table. I had a ping pong table, but uh, something crazy happened. The the net löst sich auf. Wie sagt man das dann auf Englisch? Uh, the net disappears and it, it's very strange. You have to see that. It's a normal net on a ping pong table and it disappears. It comes a lot of sm small corns and they lay on the on the ground and the net is not there anymore i have n no clue what that is how that can be possible if that comes from the sun or my dad used some acid Excoop, how does your session ended yesterday? We made 1.3k. 
1.3. I just uploaded it to YouTube and um, after my session I will I, I will make it free. As you can see, we just started the stream and <laughs> we are already up a few stacks. Go so quickly. I'm not sure it's because uh, weekend or is that given Corona? I heard COVID makes the tables a lot of E softer, but I did not play rec uh, recently, so I have no clue. Let's have a look into Holder Manager, how it looks like since yesterday. So this is it. Let me refresh. This was from yesterday, so refresh. What can I say? It looks easy, but it's only easy because we hit. This player is not full stacked. This player has a yellow box. So I open race here and it goes through. Through. Nice. <clears throat> David, welcome, welcome. Limper here, we will mark him green, maybe a fish. We fold and watch because we want to get some information. Interesting here, I would probably bet a uh, big without the 10 in diamond and shove the turn, like pot flop, shove turn. Well, with the 10 of diamond, I go this way because if a diamond comes up, it does not scare me too much. Ah, I'm actually not sure about that. Maybe I should bet the flop huge already because, uh, We lose against sevens and jacks, maybe queens if he does not forbid it preflop. I dislike to call because I never know if he has fours, sixes, ace, five, you know, stuff like that. So uh, if he has me beat, if I call now and he jams the river on a deuce, I would call it anyway. So let's hope for the best. Kings, slow late kings, okay, it's fine. It felt like this because I'm not sure how often they bet um, eights and nines or if they float enough on the flop. You know, like uh, king, queen, backdoor, flush, draw. I think some players on No Limit 100, they fold it on, on the flop directly, maybe. Such stuff always looks like a punt if they have it, but uh, often enough, hopefully they do not have it. I will do a note. So he bets the turn. Unfortunately, 8 7 arrived. We have an 8 in our hand. Uh, uh, weak ace possible. I open 2.1x only from the cutoff, which means he can defend uh, wider. 
from which country? Bulgaria, okay. Weak ace possible. King does not uh a queen does not go for value, so it's the ace or nothing. Um I checked the flop. Diamonds and heart busted at least. Uh, one time. We need 25%, right? Just one time. Nice hand, sir. Nice hand. So I wanted to finish my note. Does not for bet kings. Early position. <clears throat> Sky zero zero seven. Hey Bodo, schön dich zu sehen. Welcome. Poker Matrix, na, wir kennen uns doch, Bodo. Äh, ja, ich weiß aber ja nicht mehr, wer, wann, woher genau kommt. Ne? Wenn ich weiß, äh, du kommst aus der Gegend, weiß ich nicht mehr, ob es Karlsruhe war oder Baden-Baden. Oh, we hit the nuts. Good stuff. Lucky for us, we did not bet the turn because if he check, checked jams the turn, we cannot realize our hand equity and would not get that implied. As lower you play, in the limit as more you have to to care about those spots it was we three bet preflop against the hijack and the small blind made a four bet so if you play higher you will see some you know bluff four bets whatever a bluff four bet means like um is ace jack a bluff four bet is king jack suited a bluff four bet right And uh, if you play on a lower limit, then some opponents, they do not have those King Jack suited, Ace Jack, Ace Queen off suit inside anymore. And then it's very value heavy and you can overfold preflop. So now I called the 7-6 suited and, you know, I got lucky. Sorry for him. So flop was check check, turn, uh, he bets, okay. And he has the queen, which is fine. I would, by the way, bluff the turn if I do not hit my showdown value on the turn. Here I raise because this play is not full stacked. We get a three bet, but it's only a small one. It's the small one. I continue. It. I know, I know. The hand is very bad, but it's just a small raise and... We play in position at least. <clears throat> this was a limp caller. I mark him uh, green. Went for a bigger sizing on the flop already. He makes half pot size. We keep that in our mind. It looks a bit stronger. Now we can turn our hand into a bluff. Uh, and we rarely have, if you bet the turn and jam the river,
we rarely have a bluff. And I think he does not have too many offsuit, you know, check jams as say my bluff with uh, which destroys my my equity. And if he does not destroy my equity, my open ended straight draw and potential two pair outs. Then yeah, then I feel feel good betting the turn and, uh, you know, shoving the river as bluff. Yeah. <laughs> Just to get his floats to fold if he has any of those like a7 suited in clubs or so. Small sizing might be enough and he folds. Good stuff. Joe, Adam, you got with the King Jack earlier. I had King Jack against your aces with uh, the trips jacks on the river. Sorry, happens from time to time. Fit, welcome. Achso, Poker Matrix, gar nicht weitergelesen. Ich bin aus Karlsruhe, aber das erste Mal haben wir uns in Sydney getroffen. Ja, das weiß ich noch. Dass ich äh, geschaut habe, wie die Poker-WG da in Sydney aussieht. Daran kann ich mich noch gut erinnern. Ihr wart ja zu viert und ihr wart in der Nähe vom, vom Haber. Richtig? Whoop. Oh, he checks the river with the king queen? Uh, thank you, mate. That looked friendly. Ah, such a spot. I hate it. Out of position. Four bed uh, becomes huge. You can call so much stuff in position then. Uh, if he makes it from 2.1 to 8, we can directly fold the ace queen off or so. But against 7. Ah, he's not in the button. He is in the cutoff. I I cannot see a reason why he should make that lose. Come on. One one hero fold. Bad feeling. Such a bad feeling. So this is a hand I would uh I dislike to to call against the three bet, so we four bet or a fold. <clears throat> Mr. Variant, you three bet me earlier. I told you I dislike to play against you and I folded. Now I wanted to do, do a bluff for the bet, but now with the customer right there, um...
That becomes interesting. Against the Limper, who is a weaker player, I isolate him that wide. Isolation. Boom. I'm not sure what happened here, but I was the aggressor for sure. And then uh, the king should be a good card for me. So we continue. And he folds. Nice. Fit for the tens, small blind versus early position. He can have queens, ja uh, jacks, queens, kings, sometimes some draws. Don't you think that shove is overplayed? Uh, he can also have like backdoors, right? King, queen suited and so on. He can also have sixes and eights or whatever a gut shot was and over a pair to the board. I think the board was six, five, three or so. Yes, it's overplayed if he has it, right? If he if he really has the kings, which is not expected, then he has six additional combinations beating me in that spot but kings was not expected and queens queens was yeah six combinations queens maybe five if i discount a little bit okay he has all the jacks and every time but he also has the eights right and i'm not sure if he bets that on the turn so i decided to go with it I can remember yesterday a few of those worked out and uh, in one situation I remember I ran into into the nuts happens my hand needed protection if I have aces in such a spot you know maybe I go for just a check call on the turn because that does not need protection PP Handle, hi Bodo, do you recommend any books? I think most books are outdated and you should learn with solvers or good. Um, or with good courses. So he bets small on the flop, he over pots the turn, now we have the queen 10. The queen 10 is better than the ace queen here. Oh. No time. Ah. I guess he should be, because he was a better player I remember, he should be able to, to randomly, you know, Overbet the turn and jam the river for 3x because he knows most players on that limit are not capable of hero calling one pair. And I believe I had one of the better combos uh, to call there, blocking the jack 10. Leaving flush draws open if he uses that anyhow. I'm not sure. Maybe he has one play style today and another one tomorrow if he drinks a lot of vodka. I remember back in the days we had some Russian players and uh, today they played Nitty and tomorrow they were super crazy. Maybe that is still an issue for some players. So I cannot uh, recommend books, really. GTO Plus as a solver costs $75, depending where you live, plus tax. 
which ends up on $90 and then you have uh, playing against the solution so you can mainly play against the GTO bot you can uh, learn very deeply and so on And for myself, learning with books feels it feels so passive anyhow. I want to be active. If I learn with the solver, I have to put in some data. I have to click buttons. I decide what I want to see in a book. You know, you have uh, side one, then you go to side B. You just read it. I'm not sure if you remember this, this stuff. Maybe everyone is different. Fit. I also hate uh, check call with the tens, but what can we do? Yeah, that's a good question. Obviously, that depends on on our opponent, right? If our opponent always four bets kings and queens, and then our tens are less likely beat. You know, if he never bets uh, eights and nines, there's so many different parameter you can you can change but i i thought the board is so draw heavy if i check call the turn i check fold the river every single time ducky how do you study poker bodo yeah with with the solvers mostly min 3 bet from this guy i'm not sure if that was a misclick or he has you know an actual 3 bet hand checking the flop betting the turn looks like queenish but we will not find it out by the way guys before i get a new hand i have some flickering on the tables does anyone know how i can fix that so for example here, now I fold and then before I get a new hand, have a look to the uh, background of the table. It will flicker, it will show another layout, another table layout. It's not gray, it's just another one. See, if our opponent jams here, he can easily have uh, jacks, queens, slow played kings, but he also three bets like suited connectors, right? And uh, if he has ace eight seven, for example, maybe he check jams that on the flop. Uh, now it goes check check on the river. Mate, what is that? I think ace king is a jam for you, so you can have ace queen. Ace queen going for thin value or seven six arrived. 
but I beat 9.8. I think for that sizing, we have to call. It, it's super strange because we have a lot of ace x hand we call anyway. Okay, we have a lot of ace x hand we call. So is it necessary to call more than that? What kind of bluff four bets do we have? Like king, queen, queen, jack. Value for the win. What is that? It's ace, queen, right? The same hand. What the heck? That confuses me in that spot. <clears throat> Der Mark Gork ist da. Schau mal einer an. We have a limper, so we'll mark him green. We do not need much protection. I go for a smaller turn bet. Hopefully he goes crazy. No. Yeah, the king is just too good for us, but checking the turn <laughs> just to hope he goes randomly wild on the river. Ah. Another limper right here. It's not confirmed that he's a fish yet, but normally a limper is uh, a weaker player. We do not have any backdoor flush draw, so not much we can do. What's the name? GT2? Jack 10 2? What? That is not necessary to call. It was uh, a four bet from eight to 23, I believe. It's not a very small one. <clears throat> oh, oh. Oh, oh. Do we have full dignity if we jam? It would be horrible if he has king jack and uh, bluffs us now because prize is so good. But obviously if he jams we cannot call. Uh. On the turn. Jam possible, but I, I don't think ace king or, you know, if he, if he decides to bet an ace, a weaker one, that he will fold it anyhow. The program is called GTO Plus, yes. If you want to order GTO Plus, let me know because I get it a bit cheaper. <clears throat>
I see, I see. We do not have any music, huh? A very small forbet from this guy from Monaco. This time I just call. Not because I'm afraid. Because if I'm afraid against aces or so. Then I should fold preflop, right? It's uh this time it's a it's a trap. So if I hit, hopefully he goes wild afterwards. There was not so much money in the pot. If he makes a bigger four bet, then uh, there's more money in the pot to win. Bad river card. Very bad river card. His queen is beating us. Check. It's very unlikely he has a uh, low card bluff four bets. <clears throat> and whenever he has queen jack, king queen or so, he would not jam the river. So we do not we do not beat any value hand. So we only beat bluffs and I cannot see enough bluffs, but I see a lot of, you know, maybe even aces, but aces without the ace of hearts uh, would be too thin already. So king's possible, jack's possible, ace queen arrived. That looks that looks strange. <clears throat> Pune po maybe something with captions layout and software does not fit um because my flickering on the table I think it still flickers if I have part, uh, stars caption off. So that shouldn't be the case. Pocket eights, that's a huge four bet. He has position. Huh. Interesting. Chesniak. I cannot remember the name. That box should be a regular. And against the regular pocket eights could be a call sometimes. It's unlikely to be a shove. We play with higher rake. He made a bigger four bet. So I think uh, folding it is fine. Gilpa, what other streamers do you like? Uh, do you like? Ooh. Whew, which other streamers do I like? Uh, I mean, I do not hate any of them, but in terms of content, in terms of content, I do not like streamers. In terms of content, I, I buy videos, I buy courses or so, right? Because... What kind of content do you expect if it's for free? Doing other sell courses for $1,000. 
I watched Tonka and Lex Feldhuis and so whenever they reached the final table because it it felt like uh, it's experience for myself as well to see them on a final table because then you can imagine oh the big stack is going wild <coughs> using his chips or um, this player is scared it, you get a feeling whenever you come into those spots. That's why I watched some final tables, but in terms of cash game, pff, sure, I, I sometimes watch uh, Kaki T if he, if he plays No Limit 5000, right? But in terms of $100 tournaments, mid-stage or so, pff, I, I'm personally not interested in that. Oh, you you ask which one I like. I think uh, Komodo Dragon is a is a good guy. I have no clue about his winnings or so, but in terms of personality, I think he has a kid as well. So family daddies, they hold together. Yup, cool, dass du wieder streamst, richtig nice. Danke, danke. Can we shove king 10 spawn against this size? Good blocker 10s, ace king. Um, yeah, fit. That's a good question. Would our opponent fold ace jack or ace queen against the jam? Because our hand is so obvious. I, I have no clue. One time pocket eights, please. Jam the pocket eights. <laughs> what kind of board is that? Against King Queen, we bring it in very well because uh, we block his outs. I think Jack's intense is a shot for him pre flop. I will still go for a bet and stack it off. Gee. I have ace king, he never has ace king. Let's go this way. He should never shove the turn. I mean, sometimes he shoves the nine to protect against, you know, king queen, ace queen, ace blah 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 and so. But I think it's uh it's fine as played. He should he should not have uh, ace king. He should not have queens jacks. He can have tens. He can have a nine. So I think going for value in the river would be a bit too thin. So we check it here, and king ten. That's a perfect result for us. <laughs> yup, where are the YouTube clips? Have they been deleted from YouTube? Uh, I got some strikes from YouTube <clears throat> because I think a lot of poker content creators got strikes randomly and because I had family stuff uploaded on YouTube as well I had to remove my movies to protect the family stuff. And also, 
those movies are old, right? I do not earn money with that. It's not monetized or so. And from the old movies, you will not learn that much, right? And even if it's monetized, if I earn, you know, the $8, yes or no, it will not make a difference. And then it will make a difference because I have, uh, you know, to pay tax on that stuff. No, no, no. Now it's just not monetized and let the YouTube stuff run to build connections to the players and, and that's it. He did not bet the flop turn he calls. Yeah, I mean, let's do this. Uh -huh. Especially these Zoom clips on YouTube you liked. I will call here because <clears throat> if this player is not full stacked and called preflop, he might be a weaker player and we can go for set mining. And that should pay off very well. Not this time though. Unser Ding. Let's go Bodo. Thanks a lot for all the help and the great streams. You're welcome. And I believe you were one of the guys writing me yesterday. So uh, I guess if there's something open, do your job and provide me the information. Printer goes, hey man, long time no see. Do you still grind poker for a living? Um, no, I do not play that much anymore. We got a second baby about six months ago. So with all the disturbing noise in the background, it's uh, not, not that easy. I still do a lot of poker stuff, so mostly solves. I have systems with 1000 gigabyte RAM. So if anyone needs some solves, obviously they are not, you know, they are not for free. That costs something. I pay 450 euro in power per month. He bets half pot on the flop, now he bets big uh, and he is from Ukraine. I think he defends the big blind quite wide. Uh, that's a bad card on the river. Jack 9 arrived, King Queen arrived, King Jack arrived, 9 7 arrived. I guess there's nothing we can do. Funny he takes such a big sizing because. If I check call flop and check call turn, I look like a 10. And this is a bad card to call it off against the big sizing. So something like ace three should not be uh, bet that big anymore, right? At least that was my thought. So what is that? It's going for value with the jack? No. Huh, interesting. <laughs> Raul Numero, not sure I could fold the Ace King versus uh potential VIP. Oh, was what kind of hand was that? Ace King? Ah, it was it was, uh, he four bets. This time I did not jam. I did just call and then it came King Jack something. I did not bet the flop to let him do the job because I had the backdoor flush draw with uh, the ace as well. Turn he bets, river he jams, right? 
Uh, you said he was a potential VIP. I have no clue if that was a fishy player just because he took a smaller four bed sizing. It was a bit smaller than normal, but everything else it looked, you know, normal. He was full stacked and so. Gets in silver on that ace king hand. Uh, the guy went all in on tens. Would it be a call on a blank question mark? Uh, yes, for sure. Right? Now we beat Jack 10. But. Ace Queen arrived, Queen Nine arrived. Wow, that hurts. Ah, uh, Queen Nine beats us, Nine Seven beats us, Sixes beats us, Ten beats us. Ace Queen arrived. I mean, I I cannot fold that, right? It's it's one of the best river cards here. Uh, we beat Ace Nine, for example. It's no limit 100, that's the problem. I, I cannot see a lot of players going uh, good aggressive, like with the ace-9 doing some problems here and there. And we still need 40% here to call. Um, I, I cannot see him on jack-10. I think he would not go for value with a jack-10 like this. This does not look good for us. It does not look good really. Yeah. Fuck! Ah, I think it's a mistake on the on No Limit 100. Our hand looks so good after hitting the two pair on the river, but does it really matter how, how good our hand looks like, right? Fuck. If we are unlucky or if we, you know, misplay some hands, all that stuff is fine, but in that in that hand, I felt like no limit one hundred. It will be a fold. Not happy. Not happy. I guess he gets problems with ace king if I uh, if I bet the turn and the river. But after this turn card, I think I have to let it go. So he erased the flop with the 10-8. Uh, we called with the ace-4, turn he bets again, we call. I'm not sure if he would bet if he does not have the backdoor flush draw. Like if he raises the flop with 10-8 uh, in clubs, would he bet it on the turn? I'm not sure. Yeah. That was a ba very bad note, by the way. 
But I guess uh, if he makes a three bet from two to ten, anything uh, is wrong with him. I I doubt that's you know a regular sizing, and if he is a regular, then it's maybe. Taking wrong sizes, or he adjusted anyhow, saying, "Oh, if I three bet bigger, Bodo will four bet too much, and that's why he he likes that stuff." If I bet the turn and he gems, we destroy our handicapity. That would be very bad. This time we take a free one. If he has ace king, ace queen, obviously that hurts. He checks the flop, now he bets the turn, okay. Shouldn't be an overpair, because an overpair would bet on the flop already. Okay, I missed uh, the chat, so let's see, let's see. One DCS, Bodo, do you watch Jared Man on YouTube? He seems to be very good. No, I do not watch him. I'm not interested in uh, Twitch or YouTube too much. I believe that most good content comes from, you know, payable stuff, where I have to buy movies or a course or a good coach. I do not think my value comes from Twitch or YouTube, mostly, okay? And because I have some financial um, stuff behind, I better pay anyone to help me instead of hoping the random stuff I look on, uh, on, on Twitch or YouTube is good enough to bring me further. I bet the turn for free showdown, I could have ace-queen, king-queen. Huh. Ah, now we lose against ace-king. <laughs> Take it. Fit, small blind versus bottom and big blind cold call. Eights can be a call. No, yes, no. Uh, it, the the big blind four bed was from eleven to twenty seven, so we were out of position, and his four bed was huge. Yes, it can be a call, and a solver would say sometimes, "Oh, that is a call," but it's it's bigger rake, a bigger four bed. I expect him to have less bluff four beds. All that together makes me think it's uh, it's a fold. Uh, Komodo a math teacher. Mm -hmm. Let us hit an eight. No, at least we have two back doors. Hyunpo, he is also big in crypto, right? Who is uh, in crypto? Lucky bastards. Big bucket, welcome back. I'm roundabout fine, as you can hear, my voice is a bit... <clears throat> my small baby had um, pseudo croup, and it seems like in our family we have some, some of that as well. Or at least parts of it. I like to bet small, I can have the queen. That's for free showdown. A bigger four bet here, he's also committed. We are dominated too often.
<laughs> he should ne never have the ace king, so I go for uh three barrels here. Nothing really changes. One DCS, in my humble opinion, you played good poker there. It's fine. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Which hand was it? The Ace King? No. Pocket Eights? Not sure. We blocked the king queen. So maybe he continues with like 10-8 uh, and has to fold that on the river. If he has two pair, obviously he calls, but um, yeah, let's try it out. 8-9 folds, queen 9 folds, king 10 folds. Queen, oh, Queen 10 calls? What? No! Uh. Okay, I have the note. He does not forbid King's preflop. Uh, I give him a green box, a bit loosey-goosey. Sticky versus overbits. Uh, thing like that. Screwball. If people don't race enough, OT. How can I simulate it in PO? Ah, uh, you can note lock stuff. Just instead of original GTO against original GTO, you can note lock it and say, okay, my opponent plays like this. And then uh, you you get another inspiration from the solver. I missed the bet here. Should not happen. Do we get anything to fold? Yes, we do. Fit king eight, two pairs must probably fold like you were saying. This spot is probably under bluffed. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, what I thought. It's probably under bluffed, although it's a very nice bluff spot, right? We never have ace queen. We rarely have two pair with the king. We 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 fold so much. So okay, check raise, mate. Uh, Mr. Dolma. Oh, that is a small bet on the turn. It shouldn't be um, like King's Jack type of stuff. So we go clearly for value.
And now we jam the river. If he has king eight for whatever reason, then we we lose. But everything else we should beat. <coughs> he bets big on the flop already. What the heck is that from Russia? It feels so bad if he pots it on the flop. Uh, take it. You know, Terra Blue, Bodo, do you think you still got any things to improve on No Limit Texas Hold'em? Oh, <clears throat> as a double daddy, my performance is not as good. In terms of knowledge, if I'm, if I'm really focused in a day and I play around with, with the solver, a lot of stuff in that in the theoretical sense is correct but never forget if you change parameter okay the solve will change again and it it's important to not only know uh, the original stuff because then it's just playing around with the solver the original GTO and you will you will remember the concepts, you will remember what it takes, right? But normally we want more. We want good adjustments as well. That's the next step. And sure, sometimes we do very bad adjustments, which cost us EV. And in average, we hope that our adjustments will become better so we can, you know, <clears throat> Adjust everywhere whenever there's a spot. Because if you need perfect GTO against five other players, then you probably want to leave the table anyway. Right? It's, it's poker. You want to play poker. It's not a game or a competition where uh, we ask who is the best in the theoretical GTO sense. Sure, on the super high stakes it might be the case, but even there you have a fish on the table. And if a fish is on the table, one player can open raise loser, the other player knows this player is open raise loser, that's why he three bets loser, that's why the other player has to defend more, then this player has to, you know, open raise tighter again, and so on. That's the funny part of the game, I believe. So there's still a lot of stuff to learn and not only in in the sense of oh okay I have a GTO solution I I learned that one solution and if I can that uh replicate that solution then okay I got it no 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 there's there's a bit more <clears throat> So he bets flop, he bets turn. We beat ace five, we beat ace four. Uh, I, I'm not sure if he bets a 10 like this every time. Eight, seven arrived. Unfortunately, we blocked the queen for a queen jack type of chance. He can fire. So this is a very loose call if I do. And I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. I I feel like I need a very short break <clears throat> because as you can hear in my voice and probably in my nose it's a bit rushed, a bit sick. And we should drink. We forgot to drink. It's also this is also very important. I think like drinking water during your your session where you want to be focused is underrated, okay? 
You should not forget that. All right. Let's have a look and refresh. Nah. Uh, this is an int interesting spot. It's very hard for us to have any bluffs. What is that? Such a quickly river bet. Um, he calls the flop against a small sizing. Ace 10 arrived. He can have a lot of queen X. I don't think he bets sevens or ace five. Uh, against such a small sizing, we need like 21%. We'd beat something like King 9 suited if he calls it on the flop. Huh? Hmm. Huge bet by him on the turn. And big bet on the river. So this is a scrolled bet, not uh, by any buttons. Okay, and he made it very quickly. Thank you very much for the follow. It seems like my notification stuff is uh, fucked up. <laughs> Bodic. Bet's very big on the turn and now on the river, huh? What is that, dude? Flush. Oopsie.
Screwball, loser. I'm a loser. But I'm ha a happy loser. 10 seems uh, to be too good to go to turn it into a bluff. Now we win against pocket nines. Ace queen. Queen 10 seems a bit overrated. We are dominated too much if he if he four bets here. Pocket eights against his 53 big blinds from Brazil if he shoves it. Nothing we can do normally. So he cold called a three bet. Okay. Um, yeah. If we get ace, queen and hearts to fold directly, that would be cool. Anyhow. No, not this time. Check. Bah. That's a big bet. What? What's that? Okay, give it to me. I I would like one more. Hey, two dollars. Three dollars. I I do not understand why they they don't offer a button where you can just open every single one. Now it takes so long. You click. You wait. It comes, you wait, you click, take, how much is that? Like 10 cent or so? Uh, one DC, Boda, how important do you think is it to use a RNG is not important. If I play really focused, it helps me to... to think about the spots, right? What I really want to do. Like here, is that a bet, a check, whatever. Mm -hmm. And and if you use a RNG, you tell yourself, oh, okay, I have to bet very often. So let's say 80% and then 20% you check, you know, and now it was just, okay, yes or no. I just clicked the button and did not really think about it. Uh oh, internet is gone.
Ui. I should care a bit if uh, we get internet problems because I remember back in the days, especially on Sunday, um, I'm not sure why, if everybody is, is streaming and that's why they cannot provide the internet to be stabil. <sighs> so when do you think do you need an RNG on which limit against what opponents or why That is a nice situation. You play in position with uh, such a nice hand. We block the aces. I don't think they five bet with queens and so. And now we have an easy life because if he has tens, he calls one time and we, you know, realize our hand equity. We check the turn, try to hit the river, something like that. Depending on the card, maybe we barrel it through sometimes, hoping that he's not capable of hero calling, you know, such bluff catchers, because it's it's not more than that, right? So this was flop check check, turn check check. Uh, he should have something like the four going for value on the river. I guess the jack always bets the turn. I mean, with ace queen high, we need 25%. This time I call. Aces. Slow played aces. Sit, 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 sit. I have to order some food and then I will have a break. So what is that? Pocket nines with uh, the flush? No, check and muck. This is interesting. Check. It seems like on such a board he can always second barrel and uh, there's nothing I can do. I do not have enough king eggs and so many, you know, pockets and then it's just a lottery if uh, my calls are good or not. He did not bet the turn. Okay, interesting. Checks and queens. Not going for thin value, but still fine. Ah. <coughs> Uh, 
Mate, why do you raise that river? I have the eight of spades. What is that? Not betting flop, not betting turn, huh? Queen Jack, exactly. The flush, really, but I have the Jack of Eight, uh, the, the Eight of Spade. I wanna stop the stream for a moment and order some food and anyhow, I like to call this just one time. Okay, so he had a 10 as a blocker, as a two pair blocker and turned that into a bluff. Optic Adams, so uh, well played, I guess. <laughs> no. I thought because we have the king of spade as a backdoor flush draw, right? Exactly that combination I take as a check behind on the on the flop. And now just that turn card. No. Sure. He should not have too many ace queens because we have a queen and a queen on the board. We block the ace king, right? So he mostly has jacks and tens. But still, it takes away some opportunity to collect some money on uh, further street. So if the turn is in a blank, maybe he goes for some kind of protection. I need food. Abendessen, da haben wir doch. Abendessen. Überraschungspaket. Nein. Morgen, morgen. Warum morgen? Wir brauchen jetzt. nicht. It seems like I have to eat dry bread today. Nothing has opened where I can order food. Grand Eisen, do not post a heart. You should cook me something. Oh, oh. If I check the turn and bet the river, I look like a queen. <laughs> Still works. The four high bluff. The nut low. It's like Ike Hexton as he played 
a WPT like 15 years ago. <laughs> Great flush, question mark. Big bet by him against two players, okay. Um. Again, big bet. Sure, he has, no, it's, it's not a big bet on that board. It's definitely not a big bet. Um, he has something like ace queen type of stuff, and we have our relatively clean outs. Oh, okay. So ten was not an out against his ace king, but at least our nine and eight was an out because if nine or eight comes up, uh, he did not bluff it through totally. Interesting. Limper from the button, I give him a green box. Interesting. I mean, we lose against seven six suited and pocket eights, but other than that, we should win. Ace queen hero call. Calls the ace nine, hopes for a pot split, but no pot split right there. We got it, sorry dude. The king is not the worst card for him, because against ace queen and against ace jack, he now splits. And if a king is on the board, it makes it less likely we have ace king, right? Limper from the cutoff. Let's give him a green box. My hand reading is on point. You are hungry. Pretty much on point, you are correct. I will just do a small four bet because against um, that stack, you know, we, we just play the hand.
I think it doesn't matter if you make uh, two big, big blinds more or less because it's so deep anyway and um, That feels weird. Check race by him on the flop, okay. I mean, he can have it for sure, like tens. Maybe he has jacks, not uh, four betting pre flop. He does not see bet here, okay. So we go for protection. Against the bigger sizing, we cannot continue even with the flush draw, a back to flush draw. And now we will see what he has. Is that really Jax? <clears throat> 7 6, good stuff. Maybe, hello, hello. Buddha hungry. <laughs> yep. And uh, can can you hear that? Like my nose and voice is uh, like scratchy and wah. Uh, it's not uh one hundred percent perfect. This is interesting. We have two back doors against David up, Boru, have you actually tried the basal balsamico I have sent you? <laughs> he sent me bal balsamico vinegar or a yeah, it's this uh, Essig it's vinegar, and it was super tasty. Thank you a lot. Thank you. It was a luxury product. Directly from Italia, I believe. Unbelievable. Dave, what is your favorite way to use balsamico? I guess he takes it as a shampoo. Alrighty guys, uh, let's have a look to all the manager, refresh, that looks good. And then I will probably stop the stream to get some food. Maybe I have to go out to catch the food and uh, it's, it's expected if I find the energy for it that I will stream later again because anyhow I want to play. I want to play hands, I want to fire some volume not only in the stream also in terms of hands. I want to see how how the wrestles are after like 20-30 thousand hands right like a reasonable sample because after 5,000 hands, it's just uh, influenced from the variance.
So he check calls the flop after three betting small pre flop. Okay. <clears throat> Should we turn our hand into a bluff? No, against what? We can represent like uh, tens, nines, eight, seven, sixes, deuces. Deuces not always, depends if we open that. that. His three bet was very small, so whenever he three bets, we have all that stuff. Hopefully, we win against Ace King. Nah, nah. Not Ace King anymore. Here, that happens if the king comes on the river and he bets. Exactly. Feels like a glitch. All right. Um. Ooh, big bet by him directly. Bluff four, four bet went through. <laughs> if he's watching the stream, then he will be salty. Fit, Bodo, what do you think about Poker Snowy? I think it's absolutely okay for uh, the preflop ranges, which is for free, you know, and all the stuff included inside. Yeah, it's it's roundabout fine. I I do not have a deeper knowledge about Poker Snowy at the moment. I had a look. Like two years ago, three years ago, it was okay. I mean, nowadays I would just recommend a normal solver and that's it. But I guess uh, Poker Snow was, was fine. As I said, especially for the preflop ranges, they are not, they are not very wrong or so. Sure, here and there it looks like, ah, does it... Does it fit to my limit? And you probably do not know uh, what kind of rate structure they used. You cannot uh, see if that was two big blinds, 2.7 big blinds or so, you know, because it's obviously different if the button makes 2.7 open raise or 2.0 or three or 2.5, right? And I guess in Poker Snowy, uh, you have just one sizing in on the website. Unless you buy the product and then you can probably dive deeper. Alrighty guys, I have to catch some food. I'm too hungry. I have to give my voice a little bit rest. Maybe I can uh, stream later without saying too much or so. Maybe that, that can work out, that I just fire volume without talking. So, um, just in case I do not go online later or you have something else to do, I wish you a great Sunday and uh, if you play poker, good luck on the poker tables, right? So, uh, take care guys and maybe I will, I will see you later. See ya!